hey guys and welcome to my new subscribers now you guys are subscribers by default so I don't really appreciate you subscribing to me and I don't want to sound mean by saying that but I would much more appreciate people subscribing to me after watching my videos simply because I don't really feel like I want to need to apologize for making shitty videos or for not articulating myself well enough in my videos because if you don't like my shit then just don't watch my shit that's my attitude I don't want to have a lot of subscribers to answer to in case I say something they don't like or in case my video just sucks like this one is probably gonna suck and although I just said a second ago that I don't want to feel the need to apologize for making sucky videos here I find myself, because of Agent of Doubt and Lasoyo's shout-out, needing to apologize to my new subscribers about how sucky my videos are. Now, uh, the reasons are pretty justified, though. I mean, I have a kind of speech impairment in which I speak kind of funny, because, f first of all, English is only my second language, and second of all, I have, like, seven piercings in my mouth, so it's kind of hard to speak properly. And... Third of all, I'm, I'm shooting most of my videos from my Android phone simply because it's the best camera I have right now. And it's not so bad actually, but it just comes out bad for some reason. Also, I suck at editing. So, again, if you're not interested in the content of the video or my actual points, then don't watch my videos. I encourage you not to watch my videos. So, just to emphasize how much this particular video is going to suck, it's gonna be about Rebecca Watson again and we all know how much she sucks now normally I wouldn't make a second video about Rebecca Watson because I think that this whole issue was rather retarded when it started but she just uploaded a new re video recently which really tipped me off um, in which she criticizes people who criticize her and it really got on my nerves. I mean, the shit that she says there really tipped me off. And I'm a really easygoing person, and it's really hard to offend me or, or really get on my nerves, but she somehow manages to every single fucking time. So, if you're not interested in getting into this elevator gate drama bullshit anymore, then this isn't the video for you. That being said, and using the new Bionic Dance meme, Let's do this. Hello, YouTube. I know you've all been anxiously awaiting this update, so here you go. Have I really been anxiously awaiting this update? Yes, I unpacked some boxes. And there they are. Looking, looking much better, I think. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and also I dyed my hair since the last time you saw me, so that was fun. How fascinating. Please tell me more. And, oh yeah, and in my previous video, I remember how I, like, politely suggested that guys might not want to corner a woman in an elevator. I'll let Rebecca describe what this actually is. I think that's a bit of a, a straw person, if you will. <laughs> At four in the morning, guy you've never met. A guy you've never met? Really? at the bar later that night, actually at 4 in the morning, um, we were at the hotel bar. 4 a.m. I said, you know, I've had enough guys, I'm exhausted, go into bed. Uh, so I walked to the elevator and a man got on the elevator with me. So let me get this straight. You were at the bar having drinks with some people. Then you told them that you're tired and going to bed. And then you went to the elevator where a man that you have never met comes up to you and tries to hit on you. But then you actually say this. Uh, despite the fact that she said she's tired and going to bed, and despite the fact she said she didn't want to be hit on. So how would this total stranger know what you actually told the people at the bar unless he was at the bar with you guys and having drinks with you, which is socializing, so in other words, he's not a total stranger. Way to go for consistency. And I just wanted to uh, to address some of the the questions you've all had. Um, I don't really have a lot of time right now, but I, I thought I would just address the one 
big question, the one that I keep seeing over and over and over again, which is something along these lines. Caution, straw man ahead. Um, I'm a man and I don't see uh, the problem in cornering a woman in an elevator and inviting her back to my room. Uh, despite the fact that she said she's tired and going to bed, and despite the fact she said she didn't want to be hit on, um, and despite the fact that I've never talked to her before. Now the reason why this is a straw man is because nobody ever said that it's okay to corner a woman on an elevator, but this is just not the case because don't you think that this guy had another reason to be on the elevator, like perhaps get to his hotel room for example? I mean, the only one who considers this cornering is you, because you're delusional and paranoid and you have sexual insecurities. You think that every guy is a rapist, so obviously by him getting on an elevator, he had a malicious intent, and not obviously going to his fucking hotel room, for instance. So, I mean, because of your own delusional little fantasy world, you try to portray all guys as rapists, and you actually try to say as if the people who are criticizing you for all your bullshit are saying that it's okay to corner a woman on an elevator. Are, are you serious? I don't see a problem with this situation. Um, so if you say I can't do that, then how can I possibly get laid? Rebecca, you're probably the second last person who I'd ask for advice on how to get laid, probably after Nephilim Free. And the, the answer to that is that you probably can't. You probably can't get laid. Because I think most normal people see that situation and they realize, oh, okay, yeah, that's not an appropriate time to uh, ask a woman to come back to my hotel room. That's interesting. By saying most normal people would see that there is a problem with the situation, what you're doing is saying that anybody who disagrees with you is not normal. That's pretty much what you're saying, and that's a pretty bad argument to use if I were you. Because, I mean, just look at this. And those of you who didn't, uh see that right away, you know, there's, there's another subset of normal people who said, oh, well, it didn't occur to me that that would be seen as creepy or weird or undesirable, uh, so thank you for pointing it out. I will not do that in the future. And to those who actually said that, I say grow a pair of balls, because are you going to take advice on how to hit on girls from this insecure bitch who obviously doesn't even really know that much about sex and relationships? Um, so, you know, most, most normal people get that and they can then go forward and flirt with members of the opposite sex in a normal manner. By that she means you need to sign up five forms, bring them to her secretary who will go over them to check them for inconsistencies. Then you have a 14 day waiting period and afterwards you can try to approach her but first you have to send her an SMS confirming um, if she's actually ready and available to agree to say hello to you first and only then can you dare to start beginning talking to her. And if after three and a half years um, you agree with everything she has to say and you lick her asshole like a little bitch, then you can ask her out. Uh, well, thank you, your highness. That may or may not result in sex for them. Um, but, you know, those of you who are asking that question obviously can't do that. So I would recommend uh, that you look at other ways to maybe get your rocks off. Uh, like, I don't know, maybe one of those dolls? They, they sell those, those they're, they're kind of expensive, I think. I don't know, I've never priced one myself, but I've seen a documentary on it. Wow, you've seen a documentary on it. That makes you an expert on the subject. Because obviously, seeing a documentary constitutes as actually experiencing it, right? Just like how you probably know this much about sex. You've probably watched animals fucking on National Geographic or something. And they're really, they're lifelike, but 
their mouths are only used for sucking, you know, so no worries about them uh, very calmly um, giving you advice on how to approach a woman or how not to approach a woman. You don't have to worry about that. They would pretty much just lay there and you can have sex with them. Um, if you don't have the money for that, there are, um, there are other tools you can get. Uh, Fleshlight, I've heard, is very good. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, Rebecca, but Fleshlight doesn't taste like pussy. Um, maybe, maybe there are other things you can do. I've heard that you can, like, cut a hole in a watermelon or something. Yeah, sure, anything with a hole in it is fine, because obviously having sex is just for the purpose of ejaculating your semen. It's not because you actually enjoy sex or anything, right? That's disgusting. Like, gross. Like, penises and shit. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Is that, a, is that a thing that guys do? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there are other options out there for you. So, uh, you know, I only, I only throw this out there because a lot of you have been asking me for sex advice. Well, thanks for your sex advice, because apparently your best advice for sex is don't have sex. You know, the, the point of me uploading that video previously wasn't necessarily to give sex advice, but to give advice on how we as a community might go about making our community uh, a more inviting one to women. Our community needs to be more inviting to women, because... Um, it doesn't need to be any more inviting to men, obviously. I mean, men are the scumbags of the earth, so it should be more inviting to women in that you prevent men from hitting on them, obviously, because women don't like men hitting on them. Well, let me tell you something. Most women do like men hitting on them. Well, maybe except you, but I shouldn't really blame you, because I guess... With your appearance and intellect, the men that hit on you aren't exactly Brad Pitt. You know, but a lot of you just have no interest in that. You you just wanted the sex advice. So so there it is. My advice to you is to buy one of those really expensive dolls and fuck that. Now it's easy to tell that you're sarcastic here, but I think that in this sarcasm you're hiding a little bit of truth. I mean, I believe that you sincerely and honestly think that there is no difference between having sex with a sex doll and having sex with a girl because you are sexually insecure. You have problems with men approaching women or men having sex with women or women being open about their sexuality or men being open about their sexuality for that matter, especially men. I mean... Because everybody knows that for equality, men need to be obedient to women. That's the only way to be an equal, secular society. So I hope that helps. Um, thank you again to everybody who's commented. Um, I haven't really read any of them in the past uh, few weeks. But hey, keep it up. Because you, you seem to really enjoy it. So, thanks. Now what grinds my gears about Rebecca Watson here... And not only here, but actually throughout the videos of hers that I saw, um, is not the fact that she's a radical feminist that hasn't logically actually thought about her opinions on, on equality and sexism, but rather that she can't take criticism at all. Anybody who criticizes her is being misogynistic. Um, because if you criticize her, then that means you hate her. And if you hate her, that means that automatically you hate all women because they are women. Um, she has her definitions completely wrong, and she's not even open to hearing about this because she just doesn't know how to deal with criticism. Every comment she gets that she doesn't like is being misogynistic and requires a sarcastic response and they don't deserve to get laid and so on and I mean it's obvious that to her sex isn't something that is that much of a big deal fine I'm not blaming her for not wanting to have sex as often as other women would like to but she thinks that she is the norm and all other women who do like men hitting on them for their self-esteem are the weirdos. 